Hi everyone, welcome once again to your Marriage Minute. My name is Dino Watt, I'm your marriage mentor and the author and CEO of The Business of Marriage. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the hierarchy in your family. See, in business, there's definitely a hierarchy that goes on. There's your CEOs and your CFOs and then your uh, presidents and your vice presidents. There's even the shareholders that are over here. And then you have another whole hierarchy when it comes to the employees, right? You have the employees and then you have people that, that are like working in the office and you have people that are in the mail room and all those different types of stories. Well, guess what? In your marriage, in your family, there is a hierarchy. And what I want you to understand is that that hierarchy begins with you and your spouse as equal partnerships. There is a very important understanding that you need to give to your children, and this is definitely talking to those people who have children, that they are not the top of the totem pole, that they are actually the bottom of the totem pole, that they are, and that when it comes to the hierarchy, they're below your spouse. And what's really important is for you to let your child know and your children know that your spouse, so in my example, for, uh, for example, for me and my wife, my wife is the most important thing in the world to me. And I've literally had conversations more than once with all of my children saying, understand, I love you to death. I would do anything for you. I'd die for you. And your mother is the most important person in the world to me. Why do I want them to know that? Well, I want them to know that so that when someday they come to me, and unless there's something like abuse or any type of um, evil thing happening between them, then of course, I'm going to always back up the woman that I love most in the world. And I want them to know that so they're secure in my love for their mother. And as a father of two little girls, I want them to know that my hope is someday they find a man who loves them as much as I love their mother. And that when they become teenagers and they want to rebel, if they do that, which I'm not putting that out there, I hope that they don't. But if they do come with a complaint, I'm always going to believe their mother first. I'm always going to back up their mother. They are not my best friend. People out there who want to have their kids as their best friends, I think it's a huge mistake. I don't want my kids to be my best friend. I have friends. They're my children. I want them to know they can come to me at any time and I'll always be there for them. Yet, I am not their best friend. I am their father. And they have a mother. And that's what it's supposed to be about. So I want you to let make sure that you are understanding what your hierarchy is in your family. As a matter of fact, one of the scariest statistics that was done by a university in Canada is that the highest growing number of people who are divorcing are people between 50, uh, 50 years old and 57 years old. 47% up is the, is the statistic on how many people are actually divorcing. That's just terrible. The only thing I can think about that of why is because you have two people who put so much focus on the children or work and all those other things, and all of a sudden kids are out of the house and who are you? Who's this person? I'm, I don't know you. And I didn't put all this focus on each other and our relationship. Now I know because you're watching this, you do have a focus on your relationship and you want to make sure that's there. I just want to make sure that you understand that there is the hierarchy of you and your spouse together and then the kids under that. Never, ever, in normal circumstances, let me preface that with that. Of course, if there's abuse or anything like that happening, absolutely, there's a stance you take for those children. But never do you let those children become above the line of your spouse. That's just unacceptable. Now, I'm going to twist your head around just a little bit. For those of you that are divorced, here is my personal opinion on this. And once again, these are all my opinions. Uh, when you are divorced and you remarry, your child comes before your spouse. Whoa, what do you know just say? Yeah, absolutely. Your child that you had with someone else that you forced into a situation of not having their parents home together and their mom and dad, their real mom and dad with them, and their child that has been forced into being in a situation with this new person that you are responsible, you as their parent are responsible for making them understand they are number one in this world. It's a whole other dynamic when it comes to stepchildren and stepfamilies. And I know it can be kind of harsh, but you know what? And, and you know what? That's just the reality. That child did not choose. You got to choose. Everybody chose except for them. Everyone. So it's my opinion that they need to have the right to know that no matter what, they are number one. Yep, it comes down to the fact, absolutely, if you are a single parent and you want to get remarried and your child doesn't like the other person, guess what? You don't get married. Yep, I know. You might love them. Yep, your happiness counts too. Not so much as that child. Because nobody asked that child to come into this world. You made a choice to bring them into this world. You made a choice to bring them into the world. You made a choice to make sure to uh, have them not have their mom and dad together as one together. And maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was your spouse. But you understand what I'm saying. 
Don't make excuses for it. You can say, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but all day long. But I know this is a little bit harsher of a marriage minute, but I want you to understand that that is so important to development of a child. Remember, my whole goal for everything I do is that you and your happiness and your marriage is a byproduct to the happiness of those children. That's my whole goal. All right? So I hope you take the time to make sure you understand the hierarchy in your own business of marriage.